but because you once you transition you then are supposed to now be magically loved and respected no you're remembered honey you'll be remembered Hey everybody, the girl day nine Eve. So that just happened. I was waiting. I, I I'm still skeptical about it. Just a little bit. Like it's a little bit. I'm still skeptical. I still have this expectation this nigga gonna pop up, right? So I was like, let me look at his last um video thing. And there was a caller on. And I thought this caller this conversation really did just like like when i would used to say i have a love-hate relationship with kevin samuels this is the type of shit that was the reason why the hate was there how old are you i'm 37. all right what's the what's the what's the question or the comment um your question was yeah what are y'all holding out for party of what yeah what are women holding out for What do you mean? I mean, I don't know. I feel like my market value is not as high as it used to be prior to marriage. I had two children. It's not as high as it used to be? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's, I mean. Let's see. Now, check this out, right? Look, like, sh sh now she's clearly someone who watches him and listens to him. So this is a fan. This is someone who agrees with them. So y'all will throw tomatoes at her ass, too. Even though she's agreeing with him and saying, Oh, well, I guess I'm this. She's going along with it, guys. But you're still going to throw that stinky ass fucking tomato at her, ain't you? Listen to yourselves. Anything that ages and gets used decreases. So, I mean, that's expected, though, right? Correct. Okay, go ahead. Expected, though. Huh? What'd you say? I said divorce wasn't expected, so I wasn't, you know, planning on the decline. Okay. But, um, I guess I'm a party of one now, and I don't know, like, how it works. Okay. What Who filed for divorce? My husband did. Uh, why'd you guys split? Because I didn't know how to be a wife. Okay. It wasn't taught. Okay. It's so funny, also, like, when she says the thing that, that goes with the narrative, he believes it wholeheartedly when she says anything that goes against his narrative all of a sudden it's it's it there's your side his side and the right side this is the these are the reasons why i got to where i was just like man fuck you there's no way in the world i could be my authentic self and just go along with this when i can tell you this is way too easy to tell that someone just is just honed in on that only and exclusively on that one narrative and the only reason why it's not because he's just holds on to these things and these are just his core beliefs and he's decided to put this all out into the world no <laughs> he found a formula that you niggas really really would pay for you guys were paying for and he literally was just staying on key on formula on brand it's money it was all just it, this is this and it never changed he never altered it at all because you you don't change something when it's working so is that a more accurate reason why you feel like there's no hope yeah so it's not the declining sexual marketplace value or the divorce it's you Mm -hmm. I feel like with the knowledge that I have, I don't know if there's anything out there that would anything anything out there that what anything that would accommodate my situation. I mean, you know, who wants to take care of someone else's kids? And, you Was know, your ex husband married? No, probably watching. <laughs> then why not go back to him? But why do you why do you think that is? I don't think he's seen a change in me. What's the name of your therapist? Kevin Samuels. No. <laughs> <laughs> I 
just kidding. I don't have one. Okay, so he said, what's the name of your therapist? She didn't say she had a therapist. He just asked, what's the name of your therapist? Which clearly insinuates, so then, you know, clearly you, you want to go to therapy, right? So that was his way of asking her if she has tried therapy, which is a suggestion of, you know, maybe you should try therapy. But now listen to her answer and how, and later it's going to turn into, well, it doesn't matter about your therapist. If it's just you going to the therapy. Did he say anything about, did you guys try a couple counts? He said, what's the name of your therapist? Because she said she had done some changes. And she says he, her, she doesn't think her husband thinks that she's really changed that much. So she, he says, well, what's the name of your therapist? Your therapist is what he says. Okay. It's this goalpost just this this is just fucking changing constantly how can a nigga be right how can someone be as right as you guys say he is which is literally all the fucking time when he contradicts himself constantly and we're supposed to think that you're wise enough to be able you, you I, there's no way that you don't see, he does it so often there's no way that you don't see it which means you're all disingenuous you're pretending to want to fix something no you don't you don't want to fix it you want to fucking bully everyone in here on here on youtube in the real fucking world knows what a bully looks like even a fucking bully knows what a bully looks like everyone knows a bully you follow this and you insist that he's right period point blank nigga you are a bully and the expectation is that i should be respectful to this person because he's gone because he passed when every one of you i could be attacked tomorrow and the person who attacked me could then die a week later i'm expected to be respectful to that person's name because he passed hitler passed as well should we be speaking nicely about that son of a bitch no get that shit out of your head the work you do while you are here will be how you will be remembered if you choose to remember him as this wonderful thing that needs to be loved and respected there you go a serial killer had a mother his mother will remember him fondly but everyone else will be clapping their fucking hands that that nigga is gone because now they can go to bed sleep peaceful at night knowing that he ain't gonna be coming climbing in their fucking window trying to cut their fucking head off okay and this is how the real world works you think people are dumb enough to just fall you're not gonna bully me or anybody else into thinking that they have to be nice on this nigga's name when he was doing shit like this this is bullying on his last fucking lodge he was doing this shit to the very fucking end to the very fucking end okay so no <laughs> but let's continue <laughs> you know what that is what's that the world's smallest violin playing my heart bleeds for you i mean what do you want us to say ma'am i mean you were you're married you honest and said he divorced me because i didn't know how to be a husband then you, but then you go to the market and say i don't think there's any hope because of the declining sexual marketplace value that happens for everybody for all women in particular it doesn't necessarily happen for all men but yeah yes it fucking does how does your sexual marketplace value not decline when you have to start taking a fucking blue pill to make your regular human parts work don't tell me sexual marketplace value does not decrease for men that is the dumbest thought i've ever heard men start having to use them bitches when they should at, at a time where women literally just coming into their prime the age that a man is when he's coming at, at the age when a woman is coming into her actual sexual prime a man then has to use pills to help him so no that's a that's a cute thought that you just fucking said there but it's absolutely inaccurate and dumb so it didn't even sound correct but but i know it sounds nice <laughs> to a, like a whole clan a pack of fucking insecure ass men i get it <laughs> i get it i understand <laughs> i understand mama understands okay our value decreases too yeah but then clearly you don't know about who will accommodate your situation yeah the man you started your situation with but why doesn't he want you back because you ain't done nothing i wouldn't say that 
I you ain't. I, I think I. I mean, I have gone to therapy. I have not been active therapy. How long? Um, what's the longest continuous con- uh, time you've been in therapy? So during the marriage, closest to the divorce, I was in therapy for the last two years, trying to, you know, rectify the marriage. No, no, you went on one by yourself. Not. So I was alone with that. I was alone in that. Um, so when you I, were when you were in your marriage. Now see, see, you see that right? So he's emphasizing. No, I mean your therapy, you on your own, not you trying with your husband. And she says, no, it was me by myself. And then later it's going to come up and he's going to say, well, why did you know, like, why did it should have been like together? It's like the one sided thing with the therapy. Like, that's a problem. It, it, it's opposite fucking day. It's opposite day. It doesn't matter what she fucking says. It's going to be wrong until it fits this fucking narrative. This is the nigga who puts a puzzle together. And, you know, when you get down to the last piece of the puzzle and you're going to put it in and it don't fit instead of realizing that means that there's another piece of the puzzle that's wrong and you probably got to switch those two this nigga is just gonna cut that motherfucker until it fits in that fucking spot that's kevin that was your leader is still you choose that still for that to be your leader follow him follow him please (laughs) no issues at all with you following him okay you were doing therapy by yourself correct when i thought things were going you know hectic i knew that I was doing wrong. I knew that I had a part to play and I sought therapy. Um, and the therapist kept telling me to get a divorce and I didn't like the yeah. Is that a, was your therapist male or female? Now, now it matters if your therapist was a male or a female. Go post. Go post. Go post. Just, just steady moving that motherfucker. Just put saran wrap on it to make sure nothing ever passes it, Kevin. Just put that over it just to certify that nothing will ever just, you ain't even got to watch it no more. You just know for sure, even though you're not looking at it and nothing will ever pass it. Now it's a, because the, 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 the therapist, <laughs> now the therapist is going to get it. Most therapists are what? This motherfucker right here. Oh man, please. You'll never bully me into all of a sudden pretending like this nigga was good for the universe. No, he was about his money. He wanted to fill his pockets. There's plenty of people who have made a bunch of homeless people, created a bunch of homelessness in the universe because they wanted money. This, th- th- these are, this is what this is. Like he didn't care what he created, the co- the chaos that he created. The people who are setting up to have their whole lives be more difficult when the reason why they came were attracted to him in the first place is because their life was already fucked up. It was already difficult. That's why they like watching him because it made them feel more powerful than they actually were. It made them fit that bully, the same thing what a bully does. When it's to feel powerful, feels weak at home, probably parents are abusive. So they go to school and they, and they do something to feel powerful. That's what these little niggas that was following this man listening to him and then regurgitating all the shit coming out of his mouth where this is what they were doing this is where they go this is what they the tool that they use to make themselves feel more powerful because in real life they don't and instead of working on themselves and doing what anybody else is you've seen plenty of stories of people who were small and then they worked on themselves and then now they like show the before and after and there's all this work that happened in between but no you know niggas don't want to do that because that that ain't your style (laughs) Your style is to kick the shit out of the tree until the fruit, the fruit fall down low enough for you to be able to snatch off. Or they just fall all the way on the ground and then you can just pick them up or pick through the ones that fell. And that's how you see women. Fruit. Kick the tree, the fruit falls. You point at the fruit and go, ugh, look at that. Well, you on the ground. You're all dirty now, but okay, fine. I'll take you. And I'm supposed to give a shit about how you feel about how I talk about this nigga. <laughs> Dream on dream on dream on dream away yeah so I went to the church huh i went to the church after that and saw therapy through like counsel through the church um like through ministerial counsel and stuff. Uh-huh. that works out a little better but by then it was it was just too late i didn't actually you know go through with full therapy had already too much water was under the bridge and it was already over what do you mean it was already over i guess he had already had enough of everything i mean i i i stayed home with the boys i raised the kids you know what did he want you to do shut up 
Why don't you do that? He's mad right now because he can't sit there and tell her all these things because she's saying them. <clears throat> and I know she's aware of who she's talking to. And that's the reason why she's coming at him the way that she is, where she's just saying all this stuff because she already knows this is this is how it's gonna fucking go. So she's taking it there herself. Yeah, did my part. Yeah, he wanted me to be quiet. <clears throat> He's not asking, why did he want you to shut up? What is shut up about what? He don't wanna know that. Cause it don't matter. <laughs> If she said, if he said, what did she, what did he want you to do? He wanted me to stop calling the police when he punched me in my right eye, but I, and, and, and Kevin would have stopped. Whoa, 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 what we not going to do is point out the down, the, the, the bad things that, that men do. Okay. What we're not going to do because my followers are not going to listen. They're not going to pay me for that. Okay. This needs to be 100% your fault. You understand? You need to understand the mission here. Okay. If this is 100% your fault, I'm going to get $100. I'm going to get only $100 super chats, okay? And you and a lot of other, you know, people that talk about these types of things and the anger inside of us and the talk that we get from our moms and, and their anger. Um, so I, I learned a lot. But? When it was time to get him back, I mean, it, 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 it's been too long. It's been five years, you know, he's in and out of different relationships, and then of course the divorce battle, right? That was. But. Is it he's is it he's gone on, or you haven't done enough work? Isn't that something? Is it he's gone on, or you haven't done enough work? How would the guy even know if he done if she's done any work if he's gone on? It's it's both of them and one would lead to him not being able to know the other one especially because he wasn't coming around even to look at his own fucking seeds okay so okay I, I, I maybe folks but I, I've, I've been trying I mean I, I spent five years I moved on and, I, and the thing is I'm scared of the market right so I'm scared to I haven't gone back because I don't think that there's anything out there I believe in marriage I believe well, the market's out there. The market's out there, but the market's going to ask the same questions I'm asking. What did you think you were going to get? I mean, I mean, what, what I mean? She didn't think she was going to get anything. She, she just came on here and told you that, Kevin. She just told you. She just came on and said, I don't really see the point of trying. So she didn't think she was going to get shit. She, she, she told you that already. What you want her to say is a high value man so that you can go into your usual normal fucking rant. High value man that you weren't even yourself by your own fuck and didn't even make it to be one. If you made it in another six months, you would have actually qualified as a high value man. Remember, three to five years. You have to be making uh, 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 at least $10,000 a month for over for three to five years. You fell just short. Okay. No high value man status for you. When you were when you were being when you're in your marriage and being the way you were, what you what were you fighting for? You know what? I don't know. I just saw my mom do it. I did what I saw her. Do. Your mom was married? No, she just fought with all of her boyfriends and fought with us. And I, 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 Who has custody of the boys? I do. How old is the youngest? How often do they see their father? Not often at all. Why? Look how he, he looking. Says he's not fighting. Look how he looking like. Why don't they see the father? In hopes that the answer is because we don't get along. So he can then say, oh, well, what does that have to do with their kids? You not being able to get along. But then it doesn't go that way. And then watch what happens. It's really stable to see them or take them because I take all his money after the divorce. So he blames me for that. But I offer, I, I ask, I pay. Hold, hold on. No, he doesn't. What state are you in? Pennsylvania. Do you get child support? I do. 
cut off the child support. How will I be able to help take care of the kids? See? I, I I, okay, cut off the child support and give, have actual joint custody with your ex-husband. Straight up joint. Three and a half days with you or four days with you, three days with him, three days with you, four days with him. No child support. Listen. No, he gonna have to listen in a minute. Watch when she says he wasn't on child support for three fucking years. And let me tell you what he done in that three in that three fucking years. But Kev, it's this narrative. Y'all in this fucking narrative. Ain't nobody falling for that. The, the, the problem with this is you can say it until you turn blue in the face. We are all, all the people who are women who have kids already fucking, we've seen it in real fucking life. What you actually do. We've seen it. We're not reading it in a fucking book, nigga. We know what you actually fucking do. <laughs> right? We know what it looks like in real life, real time for fucking K. So whatever i mean this nigga himself he literally just in last october finally paid all the back child support that he fucking had this your high value man person that would send a damn sure close signal that you're on trying to actually do something different it would also give your boys more time with the man they need to be with their father mm -hmm. now here we go come on if he's saying the money is draining him well uh man wouldn't Cut the child support off. Wait, wait, uh, and that, look at that. Don't that sound so pleasant for you? A nigga that don't want to do shit? But watch this. But watch this. Come on, don't get comfortable. W watch, what, watch what happens now. Move in good faith. Oh, good How God. will it hurt your boys if you cut child support and you actually have joint physical custody with, your, with their father? To where now the reason for the money is gone because... He has to pay for them when they're with him. You have to pay for them when they're with you. So there's no need for the money. How does it hurt the boys? I understand what you're saying. It doesn't hurt them at all. But what if he, if he doesn't have a place to live, where would he take them half of the time? So he lives in his car? He lives on somebody's couch. Are you getting child support every month? <laughs> uh, he homeless. He homeless. He cussed out the judge. He quit his job. He's homeless. Kevin says, give him joint custody. Let him, let, let the kids go stay in the cardboard box with him a half the week. That's going to be real, it's going to be real productive for the boys. This is what happens when you advise people when you have no fucking, no, no, like you, when you tell them to do something that huge. Take him off child support. No information of this nigga was off child support for three years. Didn't even look at his fucking kids for three full years. Money, money wasn't the reason, was it, Kevin? Why you play with your fucking nails? So he's on somebody's couch. I didn't ask him to do that. I, I just, I didn't say you asked him to do it, but I just want you to understand that from the man's standpoint, ain't nobody gonna have shed one tear because you were with a man and you said it and now after the marriage you getting the money <laughs> and i don't want to get too deep into it but is what's more important having a, a, a functioning relationship with your ex and having your boys with their father and having some semblance of a family or this cold war i just feel like kevin didn't ask for any i begged him to stay i promise i, I want to no 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 see you can beg him to stay, but I asked you the first thing. What was the name of your therapist? And the problem is he hasn't seen enough change. If you, so let's just imagine this happened. Let's just, let me. No, but she, she, she told you the therapist. She, she, she did do a therapist. Are you going to act like she said no? Yeah, you asked what the name of the therapist, and then she gave you one. She gave you one. He, he just breezed or just said that and breezed over it as if her answer to that question was, I don't have one. Because that's the usual way that the conversation goes. Ugh. Let me use my Thanos powers here, shall we? Let me use my Thanos powers. Hello, Eric. Hey, this is me. Yeah, um, you know, I want to do something. The boys, I don't see you that often. And I know you're in, a, you're in this way. 
and you and you say it's on me because I, I get the money. So here, here's, here's my here's what I want to do. I went down to the court and I actually terminated the support order. I terminated the support order, and I want to have joint custody, joint physical custody with the boys. I give you about 90 days to get yourself together to where you have a place to where the boys can come over there. So you should be able to do that with the money you get. There's, there's videos on YouTube right here with women who have cut off support, cut off the child support. No, there's not videos. There's one. There's this one girl who said that she did that. She said she took him off this child support, which was a tiny amount of fucking child support. I'm talking about like less than a hundred fucking bucks. Took him off a of child support. Not only did she have to do that, she also then had to help him get a fucking job. This grown ass man and the father of her child, she had to help him get a job when they're not even together. Said to help herself, she had to help him. This is this is what he wants her to model herself after. This, that that that's the example. And it's not women. It was a woman liar. It was a fucking woman. All it takes is one of these people to come out with a story that's probably not even fucking true. Ah. Uh, and these niggas will take that story and they will run down a million bitches with it. There's women out here who do. And and, and in actuality, there's, there, wasn't, there wasn't even one person who did it. This is why I can't stand those people who do that. And been a help, helpful to the ex-husband. Yep, same story. And now Called they're in a better position. Called it. Called it. Same fucking story. There's a, there's a, she was in a car. There's a girl in a car. It's that same fucking video. It's one fucking video. And now that person, because she did something stupid, okay? Something that will ultimately only benefit one person. The one person in the scenario who was irresponsible is the only person that that thing, that choice that she made is going to benefit ultimately. The son, the kid ain't going to benefit from it because there's people, there's guys out here who have nothing, who barely have anything, but they still pop their little fucking head up and come and be around and carry their kids around, walk around fucking town with them. Ain't got no place to go and then take them on back home. Just like to look at them, just like to go and look at their own children, like to do whatever. And then there's the ones who have every fucking thing and never lay eyes on their fucking kids. It ain't what you got, nigga. It's who you are. And the niggas like this, it's garbage. This is garbage. I don't care what kind of fucking suit you put on it. How does that hurt the boys? It doesn't hurt them at all, Kevin. So do you not do you not think if you cut the support off, do you think he would do you think he would, what do you think he would do? I think he wouldn't because so we I think I think that nothing would Huh? You, so you think if you cut the child support that he would not see the boys? Correct. We separated for five years. Mm -hmm. Okay. Three so let me stop you right here. Let, I want you to stop yeah, you right here. Yeah. 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 Let me stop you right here before you accidentally tell me something that's going to be way too much for me to undercut. But she's going to get it out anyway. Yes, sir. You want to get back with the man who you said if you cut the child support off, how you just keep the money and still not see the boys? Correct. So why you want to get back with a man with such a low character? If that's what you really believe. Because your dumb ass keeps telling women that that's what they should do. You should just go back to the, you already got kids by them. Why you can't just be with them? Just go back to them. Oh, he punched you in the face. Oh, well, do you pick them? And now, now all of a sudden she's wrong because she's saying the thing that he would usually tell a person could go ahead and fucking do. If, if you don't see what I'm talking about, then fuck you. Because that means that you don't want to. Or you just want to, you just, you just want to be that dick. You want to be a dick. That's what you want to be. So congratulations. Y'all are that. But. Uh, th this is way too obvious how is this not obvious but i'm supposed to be sad i'm supposed to be respectful when a woman says when, when, when kevin says what do you want from a man and get, and she says to be respected you know what his answer is why do you need to be respected respect you for what that that shouldn't be your concern why do you need to be respect why would you need why would he need to respect you not knowing anything about her not no no insight not like she came on and said i'm a hoochie mama and i want to be respected no just a regular old chick just called his thoughts are or were okay respect isn't something women should be feeling obligated they're feeling like that there's something that they need you know why because if a woman feels like she needs to be respected she's gonna also feel like that you can't punch her in the face cheat on her right in front of her face 
uh, run around to be as disrespectful because disrespect is important. High value men are supposed to be able to disrespect the shit out of you, and you're supposed to feel like you 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 have to stay because they're high value men. That's why respect is such a bad word for Kevin. When Kevin hears a woman say respect, it's such a bad word because disrespect is very important to him. But I'm supposed to feel bad. <laughs> I ain't celebrating his fucking death. I ain't celebrating. But y'all still running around spouting his words. I, it, it, it's not going to change anything with me having it, taking issue with, especially when if you're going to reference this nigga when you say some dumb shit, then I'm going to reference him too. We're going to reference him. Y'all, y'all want him to live long, live on. Okay. The message is still shitty. So I'm still going to call it out as shitty. I'm not going to call it out as now it's great because he's not around to say it himself. That's not how it works. If you are dumb enough to think that that's how it works, then your youth is showing, honey. You're either really young or you're really old and never actually grew up. It don't work like that. Not at all. Not one little bit. No. No. <laughs> Please. I can hear the shit that comes out of this thing. You're going to die alone. He loved telling bitches they was going to die a fucking alone. If you like telling people that they're going to die alone, exactly how am I supposed to feel sorry for you when you die alone? I, I, explain to me how those two things work. Because when he would tell women, you're going to die alone, did he also then say, okay, now guys, if she dies alone, make sure you feel bad and only say nice things. No, you would use it as an example. When, some, when a woman died alone, somebody call out an example of Kevin talking about some woman who's a celebrity or something who died and was unmarried and how she died alone she was beautiful she was rich but she died alone i bet you can find it i bet you can find it please don't expect more than you willing to fucking give because you damn sure ain't gonna get it from me <laughs> you might find it somewhere nigga but you ain't gonna get it from me okay <laughs> I, I literally believe in the sanctity of marriage that's not what i asked i asked why would you you be telling Kevin be telling people to go back to their husband. He don't say was it abusive. He don't say was she whooping your ass. He don't say none of that stuff. Did he give you a disease more than three times? <laughs> he don't say nothing like that. He just say, well, I mean, nobody else gonna want you. Just go back to your husband. Just go see if he'll take you back. Who fought the divorce? Just waiting and hoping for that. I did. So he can go all the way in. Then he don't get it. He got to go all the way around this. This nigga wasn't on child support. Didn't do shit. Didn't see his kids for three fucking years. Take him off child support. See what happens. Well, I don't think nothing will happen. And then what? And then what? What about to put him back on child support? Well, I don't know. Go check with the courts. Nigga, you ain't got none of the answers. You're over here throwing out dumbass solutions. Okay? You ain't got no answers. I don't like it. Don't you want to get it. back with the man? Because what? See, there's fear here. And I'm trying to understand. Why you want to go back to this man? Oh my God, because you if told you're her saying, to I'm dealing with a man if I cut the child support off. she listened to you tell women that all the time. You say, just go back there. Well, it wasn't, it was, it was a toxic relationship. So you already had kids with him. Why not just go back? And now if, why would you want to go back to, nigga, do you listen to, does he even listen to himself? I don't think, he, I don't think he even listened to himself, which would make sense for why he contradicts the shit out of himself. And offered him joint custody, he'd just take the money and still be out of his boy's life. You don't, so you don't think very highly of him. I don't, but I still, I mean, I'm married, then like, I think that that means something. I mean, I love, I love my brother, and he may not be the best person in the world, but I Did love you him. hear what you just said? <laughs> And I want you to think about what I'm about to say. Oh my God. You're in charge of raising two boys and you don't think very highly of their father. I'd be like, okay, Kevin, what would you like for me to do? Let me call him and tell him to come and get the kids. And then the kids can just stay on the couch wherever it is that he's staying at. Oh, you want me to take him off child support? Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. Uh, he quit his job because he didn't want to pay more in child support, but the judge made him pay it anyway. He still kept the order the same amount because he cussed the judge out. So now he still has to pay it, even though he ain't got the goddamn money. But guess who didn't call the police on him, Kevin, and get him arrested for not paying his child support? Me, Kevin. Me. Me, Kevin. Me. Like, you don't care. <laughs> like, none of this stuff matters. None of this matters. The internet is forever. What do you think? You I didn't mean it like that. The internet is forever. What do you think? Yes, Kevin. I'm glad you pointed that out. The internet is forever. The shit that you have said and put out there, you are gone. But guess what? 
it is forever if they were to pull your page down it wouldn't fucking matter because most of the youtube community has at least one each of your fucking videos saved on their own fucking computers it's forever kevin it's forever all your contradictions you, you you won't even be around to try to defend it and change it up this is why being honest is so important when you're not around to to clear up what you said to change what you said to go have that come to jesus moment where you go okay so back when i was this i did this i said this but i didn't mean it i was only saying it because of it no your lies are just floating around out there for now all of eternity and that's how you will be remembered by who you will be remembered for your fans will remember you fondly because you made them feel good about being dicks about being bullies you made them feel like it was okay to be a bully you made them feel like it was okay you gave them a glimpse of that there was a possibility that they might be a cool person one day maybe people will like them maybe they'll end up with the the person that they think that they want but in real life if they knew that person they would already know that that's not even somebody they would even want and they wasted their time being hateful and egregious to strangers for no fucking reason when there was a perfectly normal reasonable pretty girl out there who was going to end up loving them later and they went through all of this trouble to hate on and belittle strangers for no goddamn reason just so that you could get money and only have it for two goddamn years thank you kevin for ruining the lives of many 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 incels their youth was hard and now their adulthood is going to be even fucking harder so as you get older you're supposed to then know better you taught them they don't need to know better they just need to know that other people need to adjust to whatever they want at that time at that moment so thanks kevin <laughs> thanks a, thanks a lot for that created a shit ton of idiots supported the hell out of them with nothing while they supported the hell out of you with everything I meant oh you meant it in a nice way no no i just meant it in a in like stop stop just stop when you're in a ditch stop digging oh my god this nigga's still digging you don't stop digging when you in a ditch what do you think it's like to live with you oh my god can you imagine what it's like to live with kevin you ain't gotta imagine it no more uh, yeah absolutely fucking not these people like i look at i look at this and i'm like i'm looking at this like in his like super chats and stuff reading through his super chats from this video lizzo would break her heels if she tried to two-step she on instagram requesting to not be on camera smoker's voice lol she got a Newport nearby, coming from a nigga that you know got a Newport. She is the type of woman that KS talks shit though. Oh, I think he meant talk shit too. <laughs> nice try though. Fake hair, fake lashes, probably stripper. This is what it looks like in his in his little chat while he's talking. You can hold out for a dog or a PhD, ladies. Yet a normal, humble man will make a loving family with you. Sweet, cozy moments are real. Lifestyle is worthless. That didn't even make fucking sense, sir. I read it twice. <laughs> what? You can hold out for a dog or a PhD, ladies. Yet a normal, humble man will make a loving family with you. Sweet, cozy moments are real lifestyle is worthless well first of all lifestyle is my, i have a lifestyle i'm not rich i have a lifestyle the style of my life is my lifestyle i think you think that lifestyles like lifestyles of the rich and the famous there's lifestyles of the rich and the famous there's lifestyles of the homeless there's lifestyles of the stripper okay there's lifestyles of the whatever that lifestyle is is it's not oh, like lifestyle is worthless that <laughs> uh, you don't know what life you don't even know what lifestyle means but you just super chatted this nigga 105 dollars <laughs> you think the word lifestyle means rich <laughs> you think it means money i <laughs> nigga that, that explains why you just threw your money away like that you don't even know what it means kevin thanks thank you for teaching us how to be wives this is from a girl named darielle holmes Kevin, thank you for teaching us how to be wives, real wives. 
Thank you for being honest with us, no matter how it hurts. And I would like to know, Dariel Holmes, I would like to know what he taught you about how to be a wife. What did he tell you to do? What did he tell you? Like, how, how do you be a wife? Right? What did, I want to know. Like, I want to know what he said about what you do to be a wife and as you are a wife, what to do while you're being a wife. Aside from being quiet, um, being in shape, okay, uh, being supportive, you know, uh, did he tell you to, did he tell you to work and help to take the, the workload off the man's shoulders or did he give you the advice of to not work because your kids are going to be raising themselves if you do work, you know, which advice about how to be a wife did he give to you? Because he has very different fucking words depending on who he's fucking talking to. And they always contradict each other. They contradict the shit out of each other. Without being personalized. Without being set to who it is that you are. The only time the advice should change is because the person, the type of person you're talking to is different. And so, you know, it's going to be different for different people. But this nigga uses the same exact story, but tells it different to different people, depending on what they tell him as far as if they say, if they don't go with the narrative, then he'll lead them to the narrative. If they do go with the narrative, he, he'll, he'll hone in on whatever the negative, like, like whatever the, the like super emphasize in on whatever the negative things that they possibly might go ahead and say about themselves. And he'll just focus in on that and say, see guys see this is what i be talking about it don't matter it ends up not matter ultimately it ends up not mattering like it don't matter what you say so i'm stuck on the fact that you say he doesn't see his boys not because he doesn't love them because he said you're taking all the money you said he's living on the couch so he doesn't have a residence that's what he said this is he's telling me He doesn't have a residence. Have anywhere to live. Or have so what, what happens when the boys ask where their dad is? When they say they want to see your dad? They don't anymore. But when they used to, I would call him. Tell him, come get the kids. The kids is asking for you. They're outside. You know, we live in a neighborhood where they can play outside. He can come by. So does he, have, does he not? So, but he does have a job. He does. Is he paying more than $1,000 a month in child support? He is. More than fifteen hundred dollars a month? No, he was. In what state? Pennsylvania. It, it was included with alimony. So alimony? I'll support. Yeah. How long were y'all married? About ten years. Why did you take alimony? <laughs> the, that's a lot. Why did you take but the alimony? The settlement agreement provided some. Uh, provided some. Benefits. Did you work during the marriage? I did not. See, and, and look at his face. It's like, <clears throat> see? But then he tells women that they shouldn't be working, that they should be in the house with the kids. Otherwise, somebody else is going to be raising their kids and they're going to be a bad mother and a bad wife. She just, she was a housewife. She was, she was what the, he keeps telling these women. That's what you want to be when you want to, you want to get married. You want to have kids. How many kids you want to have? You want to be a housewife. You want to, and that's all fine and dandy. Oh, oh, you got divorced? Well, who asked for the divorce? Oh, he did. Oh, he asked for the divorce. Mm. Okay, so he wanted a divorce. He was the only one working. He knew she wasn't working. He insisted on the divorce. They go to the divorce. He's paying child support and alimony. He knew all that. This nigga just wanted to be done. This, it, this is not some crazy thing that has never fucking happened before. He just wanted to be done. I went out of this. I don't want to be a. I don't want to be a husband. I don't want to be a dad. I don't want to be an employee. I don't want to do shit. And he just shut everything out. And for you to say that this is not a thing that happens, and you've never heard of such a fucking thing, if you get to fucking lie, then I get to not miss you. <laughs> okay, this, this is what it is. That's so weird. Like y'all out here, just please understand. If you are out here doing some toxic shit, if you're another person, if you're another YouTuber, and you are out here doing some toxic shit, saying some toxic shit, just because your viewers really like to fucking hear it, I want you to know that if tomorrow is your day, if tomorrow is your day, you know what I'm talking about? If tomorrow is your day, 
okay to go you you don't you're not automatically gonna just be people aren't gonna love you because you pass people don't love you because you pass they love you when you passed if they respected you when you were here okay that's that's how that fucking works and if you leave residue behind of your toxic behavior meaning if you taught a whole group of other people how to just really just shovel out that same level of disrespect hate lack of accountability if you created a whole fucking garden a field a plantation full of that toxic ass weed type fuckery if you created that left that behind nigga i'm gonna remember you exactly as you fucking were i'm gonna speak of you forever exactly as you were until i go until it is my turn and i am fully aware of what that looks like what i say i stand on nigga i stand on what i say you're not gonna catch me tomorrow and i say oh well that sounded really bad but i didn't mean that no if i have said it <laughs> i have meant it i don't even have a great memory but i can tell you this if i say something one day and somebody comes back and says, you said this thing and i go huh really well what was the thing complete what was the thing that i actually said and when they say it even if i don't remember saying it i know me nigga and i will still accept it as a thing i said because guess what i know the type of i know how i feel if you say it and i agree with whatever it was that i be I mean like well yeah i don't remember saying it but yeah i probably said it because that is how i feel or or yeah that sounds exactly like some shit that i would say yeah i probably said it and that's how you're supposed to function we just walk around just saying shit because somebody standing next to you is going to be entertained by the shit okay no you're gonna be held accountable for everything you say not just the shit that you said that you believed okay so whether he was just whether he really felt these things or not and he was just saying it for for money or for clout or for whatever it don't matter he created a plantation size weed sprout fucking situation that now there's a few different generations full of people who are now gonna have to suffer because of it two years this nigga was running his mouth about the same one fucking thing and he's fucked up so much shit not even realizing for the most part what he fucked up was his own fans he didn't fuck women up with this he opened the eyes of women with this women are out his fans are about to see a fucking drought okay this is what he created he fucked you not us <laughs> he fucked his fans not women not not single women not single mothers not you know danger zone whatever the fuck he wanted to call it. oh my god which is so hilarious how was the danger zone kevin you want to talk about somebody being in a danger zone and talking about a bitch dying alone does it count as dying alone if you die with a perfect stranger with a with a you know with with with, with cakes with very large cakes does that count as dying alone so like if i just happen to say because i'm single like say if i was to die next to just by coincidence like say i passed away in an elevator with uh, adam sandler i know he's not the hottest but it would, it would be a fun way to go <laughs> if i just passed away in an elevator and adam sandler just happened to be the only other person in the elevator and i just passed away did i die alone i mean i didn't die alone there was somebody i died just like kevin i died with somebody have it be somebody i don't really know i just fucking met but they're hot or hot to me right so did i die alone did i in fact die alone is that what you meant when you said you would die alone did you mean literally alone did you mean without a person whom which you are like like but what did you, what the fuck did you mean like it's sad that i can't ask you this there, there i've just found a reason to be sad i never thought to ask when you say die alone what exactly do you do you mean literally alone like there was nobody else in the room because that's that's um that's probably a rare thing like there's usually somebody around when people pass away so only hermits really die alone like <laughs> what did you mean by that <laughs> well that sucks now i want to ask oh why didn't i think it is earlier 
Maybe somebody, is anybody, if you've, if you've come across a video where he expressed exactly, specifically what he meant when you said dot alone, could you please uh, let me know, put a, maybe a link in a, in a timestamp or something for it. <laughs> if you cut the support off and you yeah, think he would see the boys and you said no, you need to answer the question of why you think that is, because why don't you think he would see them? Was he, was he, where was he at? He was right up the street, less than a couple miles away. He worked, he, you know, he had his fun. I didn't bother them. I went and got a job. I, I went and provided. I, I kept the house. I kept the mortgage. I kept the mortgage paid. Didn't ask for anything. It wasn't until I lost my job or I had to cut So back. you worked, so you worked, so you worked, so you didn't work during the marriage. Did you guys have uh, Did you guys have financial pressures in the marriage? No, not at all. Did he has he changed jobs? Since we when we were married, he had a steady job. Right. Since been divorced, he's gone through plenty of lots of different. Jobs. What was his profession? Uh, social work. Okay. He was a social worker. He worked in law enforcement. He could do that. He has a bachelor's degree in social work, but he. But does he have any substance abuse problems? Not at all. So he was steadily employed and you were a housewife. Yep. But post-divorce, now you're a working woman. Correct. And <coughs> right, wrong, or indifferent, all this was preferable to just getting along with your husband? And, 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 and there goes the simplification thing of, let's just let go of the fact that, that they separated for five years. Three of the five years went by with him not seeing the kids, not one goddamn moment dying he wasn't on child support he still was working so he was still making all of the same money that he was making before he wasn't giving anything to her she went then got a job and was doing all of this stuff with her and her kids all on her own with no help he was living free and clear only once she lost her job and asked him could he help because it, it's their fucking kids there He's had three fucking years of doing absolutely nothing but having fun and taking care of himself and paying no mind to the kids not to mention not even seeing them the entitlement we're talking about here right so and his response to her is well just take me off a child support to which then she did explain to me where she went wrong explain to me where she went wrong you can't i'm glad that this happened in his very last one of these i'm glad that this happened because this is a great display of it didn't matter what you said it didn't matter he was looking for the flaw because that's what he pounces on the flaw and then he runs his cycle of things that he says he says see guys that's what i be talking about he's looking for little pieces of things that he could call proof of his theories that he just made up out of thin fucking air Oh my god this thing right here okay so moral of the story is this is what he left behind this is the legacy this is his legacy okay you can view it how you view it and congratulations to you right but i view it how i view it congratulations to me as well okay so feel how you want to feel you know you can take your thoughts to hell too okay as i can take mine so but no, this nigga don't get no free pass for passing away, which all of us fucking are going to do. Literally, every single one of us is going to do that. Hitler did it, and ain't nobody in here crying for that nigga neither. Okay? I keep going back to Hitler because he's the greatest fucking example of everybody fucking dies, and not everybody gets talked about nicely when they leave. It's because of what they did when they were fucking here. Okay? I feel the need to say this out loud because you sound dumb. You sound like a stupid person. When you say that someone is rude for expressing these things about someone because they pass, when everybody is going to pass, you, sir, who's feeling some type of fucking way, your day could be tomorrow. You don't fucking know. Okay? Right? We're all, but you do know this, it's succumbing. It's succumbing. It's coming for everybody. Ain't nobody making it out of this here thing alive. Okay? That's not what the point is. The point is not to make it out alive. Okay? We're all going. What are you leaving behind, nigga? What are you leaving behind is what you should be concerned about. None of us are making it out of this alive. It is your legacy. What will people remember of you? We are not supposed to just admire people because they pass away when everyone is going to do that. That's a promise thing for everyone. No one is exempt. 
but because you once you transition you then are supposed to now be magically loved and respected no you're remembered honey you'll be remembered <laughs> and how you're remembered is based on how you were when you were fucking here that's it <laughs> I don't know why you guys don't understand that, but I also know you were following this dude. So if you're following this dude, it's kind of understandable. Kind of understandable why you don't understand what I'm saying right now. If you couldn't understand that, you probably can't understand this. You feel me? All right, y'all. Like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Later, Gators.